Hey guys, and welcome back. So today, I think I'm going to work on my powders, my setting spray, and maybe my face palettes if this uh, isn't going to be too long. Hopefully not. Um, so I have some here in my drawer, and then I have some in my everyday makeup. Hopefully the lighting's not like blinding, but anyways, let's just jump right on into it. So I'm going to pull out like the obvious things I want to go ahead and get rid of. So I have this Stargazer um, white pressed powder. I bought that because of Taylor's recommendation. She's used this pretty, pretty long time ago. It's just a completely white like setting powder. Um, I used to use this a long time ago and I haven't reached for it since so I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. I got this off of Amazon I do believe. And then let's see what's the next thing. So I have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent um, Loose Powder. I think I may have used this like once I'm not entirely sure but you do get a lot of powder in here but it's just not something I'm reaching for plus it's pretty bulky and I kind of have limited um, space for my makeup so I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along and if I feel like I do like want to try it out I can always go and pick it back up. Next up I have this Laura Mercier under eye brightening powder. So I had this in a project pan just to kind of like test it out and I thought maybe I could use this up but honestly I just didn't really like the way it made my under eyes look. Um, it does give a brightening effect but I think my under eyes are just too dry for this kind of product. Um, I used to really like using this back in the day. Well not this one. I repurchased this one but um, I just don't like it for my preferences now so I'm going to pass this one along. And then next up is this Wet n Wild Brightening Rocks. I'm never going to use this. I got this in a, the Wet n Wild Mystery Box and I I opened it up just to see like what it was all about and I'm um, just that's just not my kind of <laughs> just not my cup of tea so I'm going to pass this along I'm sure someone else might be able to use it or want to figure out how to use it so I'm going to declutter that all right so I think I'm just going to hold on to the rest of these um I went and pulled these two out of my everyday makeup drawer I have the Revlon Candid um I'm not quite sure what shade it is oh one um i have used quite a bit of this powder and then i have the pretty vulgar um uh, matte about it in translucent got this in boxy charm even though it's matte and i'm not like a big fan of matte products this doesn't dry my skin out and make it look any drier than it is and i really do enjoy using this so i'm gonna hold on to these two and then next up i have this physician's formula mineral mineral wear I've only used it once and I did like it. I know Taylor here on YouTube has tried it out and she actually liked it and we have similar skin types. So I'm going to hold on to this and try it a few more times just to make sure I really do enjoy using it. And if I don't, then I'll pass it along then. And the next up is a recent purchase. It's the Laura Mercier and the Translucent um, Glow Powder. Um, I do like reaching for this when I'm in the mood for for glow powder um it's not bad but I, again i just recently got this and i really don't want to give it up just yet so i'm gonna hold on to that and then next up i have this rimmel stay mat um as you, i don't know if you can tell but i have used quite a bit of this the pattern's starting to wear off you know i think i can go ahead and get rid of this i did like it when i used it but i honestly i haven't reached for it in a pretty well pretty good while so I can just go ahead and pass this one along again if, if I do want to pick it up again it's available at Walmart and then next I have this Becca um uh was it the Hydro Mist I got this in a I don't know if it was a boxy luxe or a boxy charm um I do like using this I know that uh if you don't use it within a certain amount of time it does dry out so I'm hoping I can reach for this a little bit more. I'll probably switch it out and put it in my everyday drawer. Um, but for now, I'm going to hold on to this. Next up, we have the Fenty Beauty uh, Loose Powder in Butter. I'm not the biggest fan 
of this powder. It's not bad by any means. I feel like if I overuse it, then it can look kind of dry on my skin. Um, but honestly, I haven't played around with it that much. And before I want to before I go hang and pass it along, I'm going to try it a little bit longer. And if I just can't get it to work for me or I find that I'm not reaching for it, then I can uh, go ahead and pass that along. But for now, I'm going to hold on to it. And then I have this Beauty Bakery. It's the Flower Setting Powder and Translucent. Um, I do like it. I was enjoying using it there for a while and then I just kind of put it to the side. So I'm going to hold on to this one. It's not bad, I just need to just make myself reach for it more. And then back here in the back, I have the Cody Airspun and the Translucent Extra Coverage. I enjoy this. It's like $5 at Walmart. And when I finally saw that they had it in my Walmart, I picked it up. I do enjoy using it. I just don't use it that much. It is pretty highly fragranced, and I worry if I use it too much, then it can cause me to break out. Um, but I do enjoy using this, so I'm going to hold on to that. So we got rid of one, two, three, four, five, and kept six. So almost half. Pretty good. Pretty happy with that. All right, next up is my setting sprays. All right, so I just added the two that were in my makeup drawer. I'm not going to get rid of these. That's why they're in my everyday makeup drawer. But I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I like using this to tone down the powderiness to my skin. Um, so I'm going to hold on to this. This is like my third purchase of it. And then I have the uh, Pixie Rose Glow Mist. I'm not like the biggest fan of it. I have used a decent amount of it, but I don't think it gives that like extra, extra glowy like look to the face, but it does look good. So I'm going to hold on to this one. And similar to that, I have this Forsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I feel like they're kind of the same as in like how they make your skin look, but I wouldn't say it's like overly like dewy looking but it's still pretty good setting spray it does have a scent to it so if you're not like a big fan of, of scents then you might not like this one um but i haven't had it too long in my collection and i do use it so i'm gonna hold on to this one and next up i don't know if you technically consider this a setting spray um but it's their it's skin and cold truffle therapy illuminating a skin refresh mist um, I like to use this before I apply my, like, foundation and, and stuff, kind of like a primer water. Um, I don't use it too much. Um, I got this because BoxyCharm had sent a duplicate in a one of my monthly boxes. So they sent me this, um, and I don't mind it. I know it's definitely on the pricier side, this company. Um, and this is the only thing I have by them. I do like it. I need to make myself reach for it more, and I think once I... Uh, finish using my Pixie Milky Mist, I'll be able to reach for this one um, more because they're kind of similar as far as what they do. So I'm going to hold on to this one. Alright, so this isn't a uh, setting spray. It's actually um, alcohol in a bottle so that way if something comes shattered or something I use, you know, it, it shatters, I can spray this into the product and um, fix it. So, I'm going to hold on to this. I just keep it in here so I don't lose it. That's why it's back here in the back. Um, this isn't MAC Fix Plus. I actually poured a Kat Von D um, locket setting spray in here so I can see how much I had left of it. And honestly, I don't reach for it. It's just It just doesn't do anything for me. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pass that along. And then I have three unused uh, setting sprays. So this one is the Wet n Wild Mega uh, Face Mist. I haven't opened this yet because similar to the Skin and Co. and the Pixie, it's just something I would use before I go in with like my foundation and stuff. And so I haven't opened it just because I don't want to open up another product. Um, but I got this in that mystery box that Wet n Wild had. And so I'm going to hold on to this one. And then same with this Wet n Wild uh, Natural Finish Setting Spray. Um, this was in that mystery box as well, but honestly, I don't think I'll actually use it. I prefer their, like, three-in-one, like, co coconut, like, priming water, um, which I have no idea where it's gone to, but I prefer that over these, so I'm going to pass this one along, and then this Iconic London in, I'm not quite sure what the shade is, I think it's the lighter shade, the pinkier shade, um, 
got this in the recent boxy charm and i haven't used it yet just because i just didn't want to open up another product and you'll find that that's the case with some of my stuff um i just don't like for things to open and, and go to waste um so i'm gonna hold on to this one and then i have just like this little like sample um from sephora it's the urban decay all nighter i really do enjoy using this um i don't have that much um left in it. I don't know if you can see or not. Um, but I do enjoy using this and um, it does make your makeup last a fairly long time. I'm just going to use this up. Um, I don't think I'm going to you know, go out and purchase the full thing just because I have this, the setting sprays that I like and I enjoy. Um, so once I finish this up I'm just going to toss it but it's almost gone anyways. And then lastly I have this Makeup Forever Fix and Mix or Fist <laughs> I cannot talk mist and a fix uh, setting spray I do enjoy using this I don't think it does like a whole lot as far as like longevity or like doing this or anything um, but I do find that it does what it's supposed to and um, I do enjoy using this so I'm gonna hold on to this one so I didn't do do good that round I kept one the two three four five six seven eight and only got rid of two but Setting sprays are one of those things that I just, I, I don't know, I like using. So, I'm just going to put these back. Alright, so next up is my, like, face palette. So, like, my highlighting palettes, my contour palettes, my blush palettes, that kind of thing. I keep in this drawer down here. Um, I feel like there could be maybe a couple products I could get rid of. But, for the most part, I'll probably keep some of these. Um... I'm just going to start off with the Park Avenue Princess. Got this in, I think it was a boxy Luxe. Um, I've only used it maybe once. I haven't had a chance to um, use it again. Well, I just broke it. So, I'm going to hold on to this one. Give it um, a couple more tries. If I'm just not reaching for it or I just can't make it work, then I'll pass this one along. I have this uh, Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I love, love, love this palette. Hopefully that will be a little bit better with the lighting. Um, but you have like your lighty, light pink um, champagne color and then a pink one and then a gold one. Obviously the gold one is too dark for my skin tone. Um, but... I can make, I definitely can wear the lightest one and then I can mix the two, the two middle, the first and the middle shade if I can talk, um, and make it work. So definitely hold on to that one. Alright, next up is the Revolution the Times Soap X. I have used this and it doesn't even look like I have, but I used to use this all the time and I still reach for it, just not as often as I, as I do. For some reason I tend to reach for like my single um, highlighters or bronzers or whatever it may be over like palettes um, but I do still enjoy using that so I'm going to hold on to it let's go for something I know I can get rid of so I have this let's see what is it in Fiji the elf it's like a bronzer and a blush I do like the bronzer the blush is a little bit darker than what I would like typically go for um, but it's not bad I just know I'm not going to reach for this, so I can go ahead and pass this one along. Next up is the Alamar Cosmetics Blush Duo. Got this in, it was either Box Charm or Boxy Luxe. They sent me the medium to tan for some reason, I don't know. Um, but I can make them work besides the toasted one if I go in with like a really light hand then I can make it work, um, but I tend to stick with these two. I don't have colors like this in my, um, in my makeup collection, so I want to hold on to these, um, and they're just so nice and smooth and creamy, like, yeah, I'm just going to hold on to this one. And then next up I have the MAC Hyper Real Glow. Um, I found this at uh, TJ Maxx and I was pretty um, happy about that because I've been wanting to try this out and I just 
couldn't bring myself to pay like the full the a full amount but I can make all three of these work on my skin and uh, I tape the the names of them on the back but I do enjoy this if you find this I would highly pick I would highly recommend picking it up the one with like the like rose gold like lettering on the front well if you're like my skin tone or close to it this shade will work for you I think there's a gold one and I believe that one's too dark so if you have like a medium to dark skin tone that one will probably work for you um but highly recommend picking that up so glad I found it Alright, let's talk about something I know I can get rid of. It's this Pixie times uh, Chloe Morello. It's their, uh, like, um, highlight and blush, and then I think these are brow products. I used to use this all the time. I think it's an actually, it's a really good product. These are pretty pigmented, and so are the highlighters. I just don't find myself reaching for it. And honestly, now that I'm, like, looking at it, the blushes are kind of similar to the... I mean, the Alomar is a little bit, you know, darker than the Pixie, but they're pretty much got the same kind of like undertones going on. Got like your peachier one, and then like your pinkier one, and uh, and then like your deeper berry. So I definitely feel comfortable passing this one along. I'm sure, I can get better use somewhere. If you can hear a dog barking in the background, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, then we have the Wet n Wild Pac Man. It's their high school high score limited edition. If I can get it open. I uh pretty sure I bought this because I wanted the brush that went with it. Um I haven't really I haven't used it on my face yet. I just like forget about them, but they seem like they would be like pretty nice. I don't even know if you guys can see my swatches because of the the lighting's awful, but um I'm going to hold on to this and try it. If I just, if I'm not reaching for it, then I can just go ahead and pass it along. It's not something I actually, like, wanted to pick up, but I had to to get what the the one item I really wanted. So, I'm going to hold on to this just for a little bit longer, and I just, I'll pass it along if I'm not using it. Alright, so next up I have this Becca. I know this is like a, probably a limited edition, um kit and it has uh, a couple blushes a couple highlighters and a bronzer and i've only used this a couple times i haven't really had the chance to like dive in and use it but i know that if i like put it in my makeup drawer like my everyday one i think it would give me a, a, some good use so i'm gonna hold on to this i found this at tj maxx so definitely recommend going to tj maxx they have a lot of good stuff for on the cheap and then next up, I have this TARDIS Pro Glow. I'm not quite sure, like, if there's a shade to it or not. But I got this in a Boxy Lux. I was really hoping to get this because I've been really wanting to try it out. All these shades work for me. And that's one thing I don't like about buying, like, palettes like these. Because sometimes I don't have... I can't use everything in the palette. But for this, I definitely can. You have, like... A matte bronzer, one with more of a sheen to it, two highlighters, and then two matte blushes. Um, so definitely holding on to this one for sure. Another one I'm going to hold on to is the Rach Loves uh, Times Pixie. It's her highlighting palette. I swear I don't think I heard very many people talk about this. And I don't know why because it's actually a really, really good highlighting palette. The only ones I don't really gravitate towards is this more purple one and this dark, like, bronzier one. Um, just because they're not... This is obviously too dark for me and then purples just aren't something I uh, gravitate towards. But these other three, yes. So, going to hold on to those. Next up, I have this uh, Anastasia Glow Kit, the sugar one, and I used to reach into this all the time, but I haven't really, I don't know, like I've been, I, I was like really wanting this palette for the longest time, and I finally just bit the bullet and bought it full price, so I think I'll hold on to it a little bit longer, just because I want to get my money's worth. And then I can feel comfortable hopefully passing along in the next declutter. 
and then the same thing for this like I was wanting this for the longest I just mixed all those together um but I don't know I feel like the only ones I'd probably be able to get away with is these two and these two would be too dark uh I really wanted this one too because I heard so many people raving about it and then no one talks about it anymore. I'm going to check to see if this is still available. If it's still ava available, then I'll pass this one along. And if it's not, then I'll keep it because, you know, if there's a chance that I'm going to miss having it and I can't pick it up, then I will probably kick myself in the butt for letting it go. So. I'm going to check and see if it's still available. Alright, so I can't find it on their website. If you know if it's still available, let me know down in the comments below. So I'm going to hold on to this one for now. Um, but maybe in the next declutter I can uh, let it go. But I'm getting it so dirty from my hands. But I'm going to hold on to this one. So did not do as good as I was wanting. Alright, you guys. So that is it for my declutter. Hopefully it wasn't an awful one. I didn't have a lot to begin with in this category so that's why I wanted to just go ahead and get it over with. Um, but at least you kind of know uh, what I have in my collection so far so if you want to see anything that I've shown or that I will show in my declutter series uh, let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to like use those in a video. Um, and make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. I would greatly appreciate that. And until next time guys, see ya.